Hey guys, Nick Troutman here, and I am back with a couple more of Nick's tips and tricks. And thank you guys for all your messages and comments, because I've been reading them and trying to figure out what you guys want to learn next. Um, and I've been getting a whole bunch of messages about how to teach your kids to kayak. So we're going to do a quick little mini series on uh, tips and tricks for teaching your kids to kayak. Let's get into it. Okay, so step one with teaching your kids to kayak and probably the most important thing, and this goes beyond whether it's kayaking or skateboarding or skiing or math or whatever it is, um, and that is making it fun for your kids and making sure they're comfortable doing it. So with kayaking, a big part of that for us was first um, getting our kids comfortable with the water. Uh, so getting swimming in the pool, swimming in the river, anything like that. And then after swimming and kind of getting into the water was comfortable and fun. Then we got them into uh, putting their head underwater, putting their face underwater. This was a little bit of a, a barrier for us at first with my son Tucker. Uh, he really didn't want to put his head underwater, uh, and so how do, how can we make this fun? I knew that this was going to be a barrier for us, and so it was actually my wife Emily. She really came to the conclusion that obviously um, goggles were the answer. So we started with just swim goggles, which were good and it helped a little bit. Um, but it wasn't until we started using the scuba goggles that go over the the eyes and the nose that we started getting um, major results. Once uh, there was no worry about getting water up your nose and and that he could still see underwater, then there was huge improvement with just comfort of being in the water, being in the pool, starting to kind of do flips in the water and stuff like that, and there was obviously lots of fun going on too. So uh, the goggles were a huge uh, step for us in making it fun and um, bringing a lot of comfort to being in the water itself. The biggest pointer I have for getting kids into kayaking is really to make sure that you're not overwhelming them with the mountain of the goals of what you're trying to accomplish with them in the kayak. And the way or the reasoning that I'm saying that is because when you tell your kid, hey, we're going to learn how to roll, um, that sounds like a daunting task. And as a small child, you've already made it intimidating and a lot harder than it needs to be. But if you tell them we're going to have a lot of fun in the pool, let's go work on our forward strokes or let's goof around. The kids are always game to do that. So first step I would say is whatever your goal is, whatever the motivating factor is behind teaching your kids how to kayak, just remember that you want your kids to have fun on the water. So step one is always make sure what will be fun for the kids. Uh, for my son, it's swimming around with goggles. For my daughter, it's just being in the water. So by encouraging them to do more of that and then introducing the kayak and the paddle, it really gets them excited about the concept of going kayaking. Okay, so step two, which is pretty similar, but is to remember that this is supposed to be fun and not scary. Uh, so make sure that whatever you do, whether it's flipping over and doing a wet exit, whether it's just sitting them on your lap and running down the river, um, it's supposed to be fun and not scary. Your whole job is to make sure that this is not scary because you want to create uh, little paddlers out of your kids. You want your kids to become paddlers themselves in the future. Uh, and I guarantee you that if you get them scared of it or make it really scary that this isn't going to be something that they're going to want to do into the future. So your number one job as a parent uh, or anybody that's getting kids into kayaking is to make sure that it's fun and not scary. So whatever that uh, means, whether that means putting them on their lap and just taking them down easy white water, whether that means going to the pool with friends, um, whether that means paddling them around with no spray skirt on, uh, everybody's kind of at a different skill level, but it's your job to kind of figure out where the limits of fun and scary are and try to always be pushing towards the fun factor. So as we're getting our kids into kayaking, uh, remember that we're starting with baby steps. So 
no matter what age they're at or no matter what size, we want to start pretty easy. So that could be, if they're pretty small, putting them on your lap with no skirt and we're just kind of paddling around the lake or around the bay. Um, if they're a little bit bigger, it could be putting them in the front of the duo and you paddling them around. Uh, if they're getting more advanced than that, we could put them into a fun one or a sidekick and they can paddle their own boat with no skirt on. And then once they're comfortable swimming around in the pool, going underwater, then maybe we introduce the skirt and we start uh, doing wet exits in the pool or something like that. But remember to take it nice and easy and really focus on baby steps, incremental baby steps. And really the whole goal here is just to not scare the kids from the river experience and to make the whole thing fun. So if it takes a while, it could take two years before we start introducing skirts. Uh, I mean, Tucker's six, he's, we started him uh, when he was one years old or just under one years old. And it wasn't until this year, this summer on his sixth birthday that we even started thinking about putting the skirt on kayaks um, and, and working on the wet exit with them. So really don't worry about a timeline, uh, really just focus on making sure the whole thing is a fun experience and baby steps and incremental steps along the way. Something that I learned as a parent again was that what I think is cool about the whole river run experience um, or the whole kayaking experience might be totally different for what my kids uh, think is cool or fun. So for me, it was about running rapids and about surfing waves and just the things that I think is cool. Um, and it took me a little bit to figure out that for my kids, especially when they're younger, it's a lot less to do with the rapids and it's more about the adventure. It's more about uh, finding frogs, uh, seeing fish jump, birds and ducks that fly by. Whatever it is, just try to make it always a plus, always a positive experience. So whether it's warmth, whether it's snacks, whether it's hydration, um, whether it's getting splashed in the face, whether it's the put in or take out, the, uh, the shuttle to and from the river, who you're with, try to go about all the different things that really make the whole experience a positive uh, so that the kids walk away thinking, oh, I really like that, uh, that river adventure that we were on because for them, that's really what it is. It's a river adventure um, and yeah, we wanna make it a positive. As many positive experiences as we, as we can because the more you get that momentum and then they wanna do more and more and more and um, as we know, the more that they do it, the better they're gonna get, the more that they get to spend time with you, which is really the end all and be all and that's the positive that we wanna be sharing. Well guys, I hope this tip helps you get your kids into kayaking. I'd love to see more kids out there paddling and uh, please let me know if it worked for you, send some photos of you and your kids out on the water and if there's any other tips or tricks that you guys would like to see. I definitely am super into uh, reading your comments uh, so feel free to comment below, like and share it and let's get some more kids out there paddling.